heat, so should be seeing something a little more familiar. Thankfully, not going TNC because we, we know better in this house. Yeah. This feels like a frustrating matchup for Kazuya, oh, it is. to be honest. It has to be. The biggest thing that Kazuya's gonna have to deal with is Sonic's, <laughs> Sonic speed. And having to be patient uh, whenever Sonic is coming in very horizontally, which is what Kazuya is really good at kind of catching. If you're coming at a horizontal angle like Sonic does, it's, it's kind of easy peasy for, uh, for Kazuya to catch you. So I see if Skeet can kind of use that to his advantage. Actually, uh, kind of running off the ledge there and uh, throwing out the laser to be just a little bit closer to the ground. Almost like shades of a Wii Fit soccer ball. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be all about uh, like timing because we saw Skeet try to throw out the electric in uh, reaction to the spin charge, but just not able to find it. Oops. Oh, and really nice parry off of the side right there, but there you that go. That time finding what it I and say? getting the stock out of what it, too. What I say? Catch the horizontal, let's go! That's what I was talking about, exactly. Right. Sonic doesn't come horizontal, and Kazi has so many tools in his arsenal to deal with that. It's going to be difficult for Steven to come in the way. Oh, I my goodness! Oh. Just barely not fine. Skeet, you know this is local, right? <laughs> No, nah, man, I respect it. You I gotta, respect you gotta it. deal with Sonic. Like, you take your socks where you can get them. Do it again. You won't. And also, the funny part is that Steven almost made it back. Yeah. Yeah, no, Sonic's vertical recovery is so good. Remove Sonic's rights. Remove Sonic's rights. Oh, you might. It just might. Sonic's small. Sonic's an itty bitty little guy. Little hedgehog. He's so little and cute. All right, Rage Drive online again. Nice. Skeet throwing it out just a little bit too early. Maybe looking for another one of those suicide stocks. <laughs> just throwing out these dragon uppercuts. He He's wants hoping. it so bad, which is good. Steven's at 77%, which is definitely a really easy killable percentage oh. for Kazuya. Unless Steven kind of brings it back uh, with some holding attacks that you can't really air dodge through very easily. Um, and it's continuing these combos that uh, and this, this pressure as well. This is a scary situation for Skeet, though, now in disadvantage after a pretty rough ledge interaction right now. Now getting put Ooh. off stage again. Oh, that might be it. Could have could have came back, but Steven recognized that yep. you, all you have left is your air dodge back to stage, which you can come back from. You, you can come back doing that. But um, Sonic Fair is still, still existing. It's yeah. still a thing. It exists for a long time. Yeah, it does. It just starts hitting and hitting and hitting, and you feel like worthless. You feel sad. Can't do anything about it. I don't know about that. Me personally, I've never felt I existential do. like do. depression. Yes, well, that's you almost made it depressing. Back. The way that Sonic felt too, like ah. Oh. Yeah. All right, finally, we're going over to a new stage. We're going over to Hollow Bastion. Um, very similar to FD in terms of platform and blast zones. We just have a little, a little middle platform, uh, platform there for our little benefit. Now I don't see this. This is clearly Skeet's um, counter pick, but I don't really see Skeet really use these platforms to his advantage unless it's a conversion we saw two or three games ago, right? So what I want to know is, is what I want to see is Skeet actually uses platforms to his advantage because Sonic can absolutely do that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Ooh, all right. Oh, actually, uh, not able to convert out of the Nair. Alright, neutral air. But keeping Skeet off stage right now. Not Spring again. potentially putting again. him in a bad position. Put him just a little bit too far away from the ledge. Skeet kind of went with his head in his hand. Yeah, it, Where did it all go wrong? Basically, Skeet got, hit. Skeet got hit with the exact same thing that happened last dot game one. Uh, spring kind of buffered out Skeet's recovery options, and also lack of jump equals just air dodge, and Steven was ready with the fair once more. Really good yep. awareness from Steven to kind of set that up once more against uh, Skeet. Skeet getting the uppy kill as a, as a little bit of punishment. Yep, getting the electric conversion. Oh, okay. That'd be huge for, for oh, bounce. Yep, bounce. good. <laughs> spring coming in clutch. Yep, getting the spring in. The hitbox in the spring actually eating the uh, the hitbox from Skeet. Oh, we just poking. We playing real Tekken out here. The down ones. Mm -hmm. 
All right, back throw, setting Skeet up at the ledge again. This is really where Steven's been thriving in this set, is these, uh, you know, edge guards and ledge trappings. Just all it comes down to is when Skeet's able to get that one nice. hit like that. The one, two. I think like after like frame four or five of the of that move, it's, he's just invincible and he or he can like power through a Ooh. lot of stuff. Skeet was looking for the Nair train. I'm waiting for Skeet to do another one of those stock taker. <laughs> um, please. The suicides? Absolutely. Well, we'll see snatch if... all of it. Should be able right. to come back. Actually, oh, Skeet no. using the uh, the magnifying glass damage to get Rage Drive online. Stalling down with the lasers. He springs, though. Ooh, getting a little bit Huge. too greedy for that Rage Drive. Now, uh, that's a, the suicide stock now definitely off the table for yeah, Skeet. Yeah, you, you can't be doing all that now. Ooh. This is, this has become a very dangerous game for Skeet. Of course, we are at Steven being at 87%, but the thing with Sonic is that he can... T he is so good at just keeping shield pressure, keeping pressure on uh, you, and also just dying. Not no. dying. Not dying. Wow, that was an amazing BI then. Yeah. Also, just stalling. Yeah, I love Steven, it. Steven just kind of holding mm -hmm. back, trying to frustrate Skeet a little bit. All right, just a regular back throw. Ooh. Not going to be doing it quite yet. Ooh. Oh. That Nair is so funny. A little poke. Like, get right down there. Ooh. I think we're probably an up throw kill percentage if Skeet really starts getting desperate here, but no, an up B is going to uh, be all it takes to even things up. One, definitely, one. More, definitely more consistent kill option for the up B Ooh. rather than hoping you're at that percentage for up throw, especially because you saw Steven's DI game is really, mm -hmm. really solid. Because I was like, you are dead. Oh, you're not dead. So now we're at 1 1. Last game, um, winner's, winner's basically stock on the line now. Banning TNC, banning Kalos. Uh, we're actually going over to uh, Battlefield, which is. Should be. Hi, Hunter. Should be good for, for Sonic. Absolutely. Gives him so much space to just avoid Kazuya in general. What we want to do against him. Just, just leave him alone. Don't touch him. Yeah, no. Almost. Almost like a bit of like the the okay, almost a bit of like the the little Mac conundrum is like you know when Sonic's on the top platform, especially like Kazuya's verticality is not great. Yeah, I agree. You've seen it. Yeah. You know, Ooh. his his short W arms can't really do anything to that top platform. Um, he's got like what a, f a frame seven jump squat. I think so. Yeah. Instead it's of the like universal. That. All right, but Steven getting these uh, percentages back in his favor. The deep back air still going to be uh, hitting. Once yes. again, Skeet not quite able to uh, space around this ledge trap. Steven also taking great control of the corner or actually the, the, the edges of the platform. You are gone. Yeah. Was taking, was taking really good control of the edges, keeping uh, Ski off in the air where he's unable to come back safely. Um, but unfortunately, Steven is getting that overdrive treatment, and then Ski is getting the same treatment back. And now we're back to even stocks, even percentages. Let's see who can really start this advantage off. Hi. Electric just going right through the neutral air, which was still active. All right, Ski getting a little... A little greedy with these side bees. These percents are starting to rack up. Ooh, looking for another platform uh, conversion there. But yeah, like we were saying, you know, <coughs> Kazuya's, uh, especially double jump, like he's got that weird dip and then double jump. So yeah. definitely something that Steven can react to when he's he's chilling on that top platform. Look at timing on the on the, um, on the attack recovery. All right, back here putting Skeet back off stage. Has Rage Drive again. And yeah, I feel like that's just kind of Skeet's Achilles heel is when he has the Rage, rage Drive, he just throws it out like so fast, which I mean, it's definitely worked out in his favor before, but it's also lost in stocks before. Not this time. This time he is taking stocks with that Rage uh -oh. Drive. 
active and still active as we speak. Damage gonna yep. be really scary to deal with. Oh, now it is Khan. All we have is just Khan's regular rage going on, and Steven has to take the stock out if he wants any chance at getting this game in his favor. 94% has right. like, got a lot of great extra credit for Steve as well. Alright, Buster Punches putting Steven back off stage again, looking for a dragon uppercut. That's it. That's gonna be it. An electric into the uppy. Skeet taking it. 2 1. Good on Skeet for, uh, for really taking that game up for his own. Had a really spotty second game. I'm um, sorry, first game where. Um, where. Oh my gosh. <laughs> where Steven was really dominating, uh, especially when he's able to keep Ski off on the stage where uh, the spring was just doing doing wonders for mm -hmm. him, converting it into for, into fair over and over again. Skeet learning his lesson, kind of delaying his recovery a few times, not getting hit by the spring as often, and also just keeping more control, more ground to control of, um, of the platform and center stage, rather than allowing himself to get stuck in the air over and over and over again. If I could pipe up about something. Oh my god, hi. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Kazi, it's just something that came up. Kazi is a uh, rage drive, right? Yes. yes. That activates if he hits a grab, the input command, or down special, but only on the ground. Correct. Yeah. So this right here was not a rage drive. Yeah, that's just regular down That was B. regular down B. Okay, that's why he still like had rage thing. drive afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it was just something I wanted to point out. It's good information for anyone oh. trying to fight Bazia Bamishima. Bazia Bamishima. Yeah, it has to Slowing be grounded down, down special. Slowing it down, yeah, I see what you mean. I didn't see that he didn't even touch the floor. Man, I was just like, I'm just gonna grab you. Like, ready yeah. to grab. Okay. There's no announcement. I don't think they, they have the PA. There's no PA. So I'm just, so right now we're gonna do a really quick hazard swap. We're gonna make sure our players don't start before you guys can watch that match. You have Vivian and Scoopy up next. I'm gonna come back for for uh, top eight. <laughs> and numbers is running. is running. So I have no one to clean the stream, the clear the stream out for a second. <laughs> hey, Bestie. Um, they have started. Oh no, I think they. Yeah, they, they numbers they, saved they it know. in time. And we, he literally, if y'all never never seen numbers run, it was really funny. All right. <laughs> So, we're all good? Yeah, we're all good. So, I'm going to switch out real fast. I'll be right back for uh, Top 8. Force is going to stay on, and I will see you guys in a little bit. See you later. Uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. One, one sec, sec, one sec. One sec.